Hello and welcome to the Philippines. I'm going to show you uh, two places today. I'm going to show you a hotel I stayed at when I first came in 2015 and a pension house that uh, has very cheap rates, about $650 a day, about $13. I think you can get a, a room with one bed for $600 or $12. A couple people have mentioned this place to me and uh, it is very near to where I live now at Queensland Manor, very right next to a Spionata condominiums, not very far from Mango and Ayala Mall. And I'll show you the house rules uh, here a little bit later but anyway there there are a number of people who want to travel as cheaply as possible and this is pension houses sometimes uh, are one of your options some are more expensive than others obviously some look more like hotels very nice and uh, this place is uh, relatively convenient one person asked me if you had to be a pensioner. Do you have to be on a pension to stay in a pension house? And actually, I think that's a very good question because when I first started reading about pension houses about five years ago, I wondered the same thing. Do you have to be a pensioner to live in a pension house to get that low rate? The answer is no. And uh, there's uh, a Spionata right there, and that is Queensland Manor. Across the street is a 7-Eleven, a couple of restaurants as well. There is no credit here, so you will have to pay cash before you can move in. And you have to pay cash if you want to stay. Now, this is two, two beds, and it's 650 or 13 U.S. dollars. Uh, pretty basic room, but if you need a room and a shower, uh, it's what they call ordinary showers. It is not hot water. Uh, but uh, oftentimes it's, it's not cold. It's cool water or even warm water, depending upon how hot it is outside where the if the uh, pipes get uh, get the uh, heat from the sun it appears to be clean and uh, reasonably uh, neat and as you travel out to the provinces you will find that uh, this type of place is uh, very common uh, places that don't cater to tourists oftentimes unless you find a resort uh, and even the resort might cater more to the, the local uh, Filipinos. Um, just simple is probably the best way to describe it. Simple, plain, and cheap. And I've shown you uh, hotels in different parts uh, of the Philippines that I've stayed at and looked at. And, uh, and here are some of the house rules. And very important for some of you, one of the most important being don't steal the sheets, the pillow, the bed or the television. Please don't steal those. And please don't slap the elevator door here at our second place, Dragon Home Hotel. I stayed here for one week, my second week in the Philippines in 2015, and uh, tell you the the restaurant downstairs was, was quite good. I was quite surprised. And uh, this is a, a basic room, and I usually don't give out prices because Room rates for hotels change just like airline uh, fares do. They change, can change daily, weekly, depending upon if there are events in town, what the supply and demand is. Uh, but it's, uh, I found it to be one of the cheaper hotels. It's not the cheap pension house I just showed you. And it does have hot water. Uh, but a clean, comfortable room. And it had Wi-Fi in the room. Uh, air con. Uh, cable television, and I had, I remember when I was here, I'd asked for a different room for some reason, and uh, they said, well, the Wi-Fi is the best in the room that you are in right now, and it wasn't, uh, like so many places, it was not the greatest Wi-Fi, but it was uh, quite usable, got done what I had to get done, and this is obviously a step up from the pension house that we just looked at. There again, I've been in pension houses, don't let that term uh, fool, fool you, I've been in pension houses that look uh, every much, uh, very much like a nice hotel. We're going to look at a large room as well, and uh, the lady here was uh, trying to find out which, which room that was, would be. And uh, I think this place, they asked you to leave your key card at the desk when you left, as each time you would go out, wander around to whatever you're doing, and pick it up again when you come back in. Uh, 
I usually forgot to do that. And here's a case where you use that key card. You have to put it in that little slot there to get the power in your room. When you take that key card with you, it turns all your power off. So if you leave electronics in there when you leave, uh, thinking they're going to be charged when you come back, uh, you are sadly mistaken because that will turn your air con off. It'll turn all your outlets off. Uh, so you need that uh, key card. And many foreigners will, after they first go into the room, they don't know about that. They go down to the desk, say, well, I don't have any electricity. None of the lights are working. And it's because you haven't put the key card uh, into that little slot to turn your power on. There are a couple other hotels uh, very near here that I'll be showing you in the coming days as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed my stay there, and it was uh, seemed to be relatively quiet. Uh, there's a busy street right outside, but uh, I didn't, I don't remember being bothered by that, by that noise. Uh, I did hear a uh, barangay festival go by one day, but that was rather short. The drums and trumpets going. There is a convenience store right outside the door, as well as uh, you're not very far from. Uh, Mango and Ayala Mall. And here is your lobby area and right to the right here is uh, a little bit of a restaurant there. I think they're open from 6 until 9 and 9 p.m. I believe. And like I said, I was uh, I was rather impressed with the little uh, restaurant there. Cooks and menus could have changed by then, so no promises. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at, and I will see you next time.